Welcome everyone to my predictions video for WWE pay-per-view payback of 2017. And yeah, this payback looks kind of interesting this time. Although it seems to kind of a bit off with some of the matches that are lined up, lined up, but um, you know, I think it's going to be an interesting one. So, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. But in this review, I'll be giving a like just an overview and prediction for each and every match on the card, including the kickoff show for WWE Payback of 2017. For the first match I'm going to review, it's going to be the kickoff match with uh, Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And in this match, um, kind of kind of basic kind of prediction. I don't know. There hasn't been much story that developed. It's just I think they've been feuding. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention that much. It's kind of hard to follow a little bit um, lately with some of these smaller matches. But I think they're just going to let Enzo Amore and Big Cass win this one and just kind of push them a bit because uh, Luke Gowes and Carl Anderson have been former champions and now look good and it will push them a bit. So my final prediction is that Enzo Amore and Big Cass are going to win this one. For the next match, I'm going to talk about Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. In this match, I felt like this was kind of like, you know... A, like an added in match like I felt like this was supposed to be at fast lane like let's be honest just because of Seth Rollins injury I felt like they had to cut this one from fast lane and it is kind of upsetting that it, they're kind of just like nudging it in now but you know I think it'll make Seth look good if he wins this um I kind of feel bad for Samoa Joe because I feel like he's going to turn into that that guy that like they have to beat to look good or whatever you know and I just feel like He's kind of getting underused right now. Maybe, maybe not. I could see this even ending in a, like, disqualification or no contest contest just because of, like, the authorities on Samoa Joe's side or something like that. But um, I think if anyone was going to win, I think they would have to have Seth win, to be completely honest. So my prediction is Seth Rollins will win over Samoa Joe. For our next match, we're going to be moving into a championship match, which is the Cruiserweight Division match with um, Neville versus Austin Aries. Now, honestly, I'm actually I actually kind of like Austin, and he's actually a f like kind of like a f heel f egotistical face that I like going against um, heel Neville, and I really like heel Neville as well. I like his heel attitude, I really do. So to see them fighting, I actually really enjoy. I was quite upset to see Austin lose at WrestleMania, but I think that was kind of the whole point. It was to upset us. And there were a lot of title changes that night, so maybe that's kind of in the long run a good thing. But I kind of, I'm kind of cheering on Austin here in this match, just because I kind of like Austin Aries a bit. Although a friend of mine said that he felt that Neville carried the match at WrestleMania. Now, I don't know. I didn't really notice. I thought it was a great match, and the way that he scratched at the eyes was really cool, and like just made the match interesting. But um, I guess. I guess what I want, who I want to win, I kind of want Austin to win, but my prediction on who I think is actually going to win is Neville, just because he's just got that strong heel storyline going, and it's just going to keep going, and with all the stuff with TJ, I think maybe something developing there. So although I want Austin to win, I do think that in the end, Neville's going to get the win here. All right, for the next match, we're going to move on to the Tag Team Championship match between the Hardy Boys, which I'm so glad that they're back, and Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, now, I've heard some rumors that Broken Matt Hardy is going to come out and, like, Brother Nero and all that is going to come out after they lose this title to Cesaro and Sheamus, but I don't know. Like, to me, like, as much that would be really cool to see, I feel like that's just people hoping and just creating rumors just wishing that would happen. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I almost want to say that I don't think that's the case, and I think they're going to have Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy win this just to like kind of continue their reign a bit, because I mean, they kind of just won it, and I don't want them to lose that flame yet, and just for the excuse of having them be uh, broken yet. Although I don't know much too much about the broken gimmick, I would like to see it sometime soon, but I don't think almost it's too soon, you know. Uh, maybe then face maybe one more championship match. So my official predicting, prediction is the Hardy Boys taking this win. All right, moving on over to the women's division, we have Bailey versus Alexa, Alexa's Bliss, and this is a very simple prediction, and it's mainly because like it seems almost like too soon for a title change um, for Alexa, considering how long she's been on Raw. 
so it seems very obvious that Bailey needs more time to connect with the fans, and she just would need the win. It would help her. So I think Bailey's gonna pick up the win here, just because like it's almost like it's just too soon for Alexa to get another title win, for so soon being on Raw. So yeah, my ultimate prediction here is that Bailey is gonna win the gold here again, or retain the gold, is what I should say. Moving on, we're going to move on to the United States title match between Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. Uh, second matchup between them for this title. And although I, it's another kind of predictable match, but with this one, it's going to be very entertaining because I, th I really thought the one at Wrestle the match at WrestleMania was really entertaining. So I think this one is just going to bring more of that to light and may even s steal the pay-per-view show, although it's debatable. It's going to be one of the best matches in the night is what I think. And I don't think Chris Jericho is going to win because everyone's been hearing rumors, including myself, that um, he's going to be going on a tour with his band and that he's just going to be finishing up. And with Kevin having this whole new Face of America kind of theme about him and just like kind of changing his style a bit for SmackDown, it's very interesting, it's very new, and I kind of want to see more of it and maybe even him go against AJ Styles at Backlash instead of Chris. Although it would be interesting to see Chris and AJ go, go another feud after um, so long because that was one of the f first feuds AJ had was with Chris. But I think it might be better for Kevin to do it instead of Chris Jericho so Chris can actually just like go take a break and do it with his do stuff with his band or whatever. So my ultimate prediction after this is that Kevin Owens is going to retain the title and then face AJ at, I believe, Backlash. Alright, moving on to this. Another shit show of a match. A match we have already seen, uh, like, I think maybe once or twice. Um, it's quite obvious who they're going to have win here. They're obviously going to have... Roman, Re Roman Reigns winning just because he beat The Undertaker and he need that strength and they want him to go face Brock Lesnar, which just is the only re only reason why freaking um, Bro Brock Lesnar is not defending his title like he should at a Raw pay-per-view other than the WWE Championship being on the night to make up for that. But it's just a little bit annoying that this match reminds us all of how kind of bullshit things are sometimes. But, you know... Uh, I just hope it doesn't ruin Braun because I like how Braun's doing. I like his whole like monster style and still keeping it strong, luckily. And they're obviously going to push Roman Reigns here. So my ultimate prediction, despite how much I hate it, they're going to push Roman Reigns once again. And Roman Reigns is going to win this match. Alright, moving on to the final match of the evening. We have Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton facing off, not for a title for some reason. Because, you know, it's not like Bray deserves like a rematch or something, but... Despite that, it looks like it's going to be kind of like a new and interesting match. Kind of like how WrestleMania, how they had all the maggots on the floor. They're going to go with the whole horror theme and kind of like beat this out for a while while they still can with Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. And I kind of don't know how they're really going to end this. It almost makes me think that they're going to end it with um, a no contest. Considering all the stuff with Jinder Mahal and he just stole the title. So maybe he might come in and mess with Randy, or uh, Bray might have like his disciples to help him out, whoever's left, I think Eric Rowan, or whatever. Just the fact that it's a special match, it's going to end in a special way. But since it's not for a title, we don't have to worry about anything changing for Backlash which hit with Randy Orton versus Jinder, which I got different predictions for that when we get to that lit later sometime. But in the end, I think... I think if anyone was going to win, I guess I kind of would want Bray to win so he could have that little bit of, like, credibility while he's on Raw, you know, away from SmackDown and everything. But I think they're going to have Randy Orton come out on top of this one to get that hype up for the next WWE title match with Jinder Mahal. Thank you for watching my WWE Payback of 2017 uh, predictions video. Uh... If you liked anything I said, maybe you agreed with any of my opinions, be sure to hit a like and subscribe button. Maybe check out some more videos of mine in the future, uh, especially maybe the reactions video to the results of Payback that I will be posting probably tomorrow as well. But once again, if you agreed with anything I said, maybe you liked some, one of my opinions, and even if you disagreed with me and you want to hit a dislike button, really do you, man, do you. But once again, guys, if you liked anything I said or agreed with anything I said, be sure to hit a like and subscribe button, or maybe check out one of my video, other one of my videos. Uh, and all I gotta say is thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.